Alberto. All right, KK back in the starting rotation for the Cardinals, and he has been as good as advertised. We've seen him in five games. First appearance, it was a closer, but now he's back in that rotation. Brad, he's got a 2-0 and record with a .44 ERA as a starter. He's been fantastic. I mean, he has <laughs> been everything that the Cardinals could wish for and more, and it's so nice to be able to get him back. And one thing that you don't see a lot of with Kim is hard contact. You look at the slider usage. For Kim, the pitch is flat out filthy. It gets in on the righties. He sweeps it away from the lefties. Zero, zero hard hit balls in the slider last time out. Guys, that's a good sign. Well, when you're talking about left-handers making their debut in Major League Baseball and where they stack up against the rest of the league, Al, any time you are talking about in history since 1915, any, we last saw him back on September 1st. It was an interesting game. They beat the Reds easily in that one, and he had a lot of effective outs uh, using his slider in that game as well. He did. No, he was great. And the thing about Kim is just he's so confident with every pitch that he has. And KK just goes out there and he attacks. I mean, he is not messing around when he goes out there. He gets the ball and he throws it. And this is a great look at the slider and how he uses it to righties. He ties him up. Lefties, you're going to go fishing on it. Uh, another great one right there down the way to Akiyama. Ties up another right-hander here in Barnhart. Look, this pitch is incredibly effective, but the only reason it's so effective is because he throws it so well off of his fastball. He mixes it up so well. The numbers here last time out against the slider. 12 swing and misses, 9 of them on the slider, 10 chase with the slider, and all four strikeouts came with that pitch as well. So hopefully the 13 days off, he's still got the feel for that slider. So the first start in 12 days for KK, and we'll see how sharp he can be. Yeah, it's the going to be the, the toughest problem is just being sharp. Hopefully he was able to play a little catch, maybe throw a bullpen. But the problem is, is like you said, when you don't throw for 12 straight days, you kind of lose the feel of everything. Weekend. Even yeah. Though That's baseball. Not though. yesterday. <laughs> this weekend. The weekend. <laughs> Inside corner and a strikeout of Ryan Braun. That'll be the first strikeout for KK. I mean, think about the year that Kim has had. You know, signs to come over here, play in the United States. COVID-19 outbreak, can't go back home. Then stays in St. Louis, works out with Adam Wainwright. Began the season as the closer, and now has been thrust into the bullpen. Closer from the bullpen starter, into the bullpen. rotation. <laughs> A little bit of everything. Taken there by Paul DeYoung, and no damage done. They need starting pitching. There's another strikeout for KK, and that's number two today. Yeah, you're right. You got to get some innings out of him and you can see that fastball being sneaky. That's what it does for you right there. It gets the players a little jumpy and will get them to swing and miss at some pitches out of the strike zone. We've got a good angle right here of a down and in action on his fastball. Gets on top of it. Look at that. Nice. Jimmy, your, uh, your key to the game was establish the fastball. And 16 pitches, eight fastball. Uh, fastballs six for strikes as Carpenter makes that one more there Luis Urias the third baseman no home runs and he's driven in 11 ground ball backhanded by DeYoung quickly over to first and picked again by Goldschmidt he's done that time and again seven pitch inning for KK we move to inning number three Pitch number 38 from Kim. Perfect. Two and two. Well, that's a good pitch. Yeah, that is as good of a pitch as you can throw and still be a strike. Dive enough where the inside pitch is going to give me trouble. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Big strikeout. Very good with the fastball. You know, it's been really nice with his location, too. He's. First inning he struggled a little bit with a couple of breaking balls and he kind of looked like he knew exactly what he was doing wrong. He kind of made some actions out there like I need to do a better job with it. Been good ever since.
Cardinals baseball is brought to you by Ford, the official car and truck of the Cardinals. So a couple walks in the inning, and Kim called out Yadier Molina, and it was not a. You can see there he's. You can see he's. he's he just wanted the interpreter and Yadier Molina. He did not want the medical team. <laughs> Get back. Yeah, I'm fine. CC, go back in the dugout. Leave me alone. Broken bat slowly hit. Carpenter can step on the bag and the out. The Brewers will strand two. And we move to inning number five, and we are scoreless. I know a lot of guys have, or have said they have. And a strikeout to start the inning for KK in the bottom of five. He's hit that spot a few times tonight, hasn't he? Right sure has. down on the corner. Five strikeouts for Kim. This guy's fun to watch pitch, isn't he? Uh, yeah, I just like it, it's it's impressive to watch the location, but the, the quickness of the way he works keeping everybody involved and, and throwing lots of strikes. I, I, Carpenter near the line at third. Outfield basically straight away. Backhanded by DeYoung. Stretched by Goldschmidt. KK is through five. That's how good he's been. Swing and a miss by Yelich. And Kim has struck out six. Statcast 3D, powered by Google Cloud, and a look at the strikeouts for Kim. Look at all those. So those were the five, and here's number six. All off the plate, or on the edge of the plate. To the eighth. Got to get there first. There's one, and there's the first out. And what a job here by Kim. Pitching into the seventh inning when the Cardinals need it most. I mean, just a nice job, too. Look at the pitch count. Just at 84, one out in the seventh. I mean, even if this is a nine-inning game, you've done your job. But this is so nice that you get through this day. This day's a, this, these three games, these three uh, doubleheaders this week are going to be big when it's all said and done. Helsley is loose and ready if need be. There's a fly ball lifted out to Ravello in left. This could turn into maybe a quick inning for Kim, who's at 86 pitches. Got to think about for sure getting that run in one way or another. Charging to Young, and we will head to extra innings. Six pitch inning for KK. What a job, no score. What? <laughs>